the first day of me being in Solomon Islands in Honiara, in one of the poorest neighborhoods called Naha. I think it was called Naha. I was picked up by Cruz about three hours before I started to fly that drone, those, those shots that you see. And that was so weird because the heat was excruciating, the flies, mosquitoes everywhere. Suddenly I have to really be careful about mosquito bites because of malaria, because of dengue. Our home was one of those houses. We stayed with the local family and my life in a matter of a few hours turned upside down. I didn't have a phone, no internet, no connectivity. But to be honest, we had scheduled for that day to go to the kiosk to, to get some data. But flying a drone was the only thing that I had a control over. So that's what I did. I, I really wanted to get a sense of where I am, what the neighborhood looks like. I remember being scared and very overwhelmed by just being in a different place with different faces, with people of a different color of the skin. And that was, that was such a, that was such a weird experience. That it didn't take a long time to get used to it. I remember Kus was telling me, I, I was looking at him and he was walking around in flip-flops. And uh, yeah, you know, for me coming straight from Sydney and, you know, from very modern reality, seeing somebody walking around in the flip-flops where you can literally trip over something and get rabies and there is literally no doctor within the area. Uh, to help you out with it or whatever I was like that like that's risky why would you do this after two weeks I was I was literally the same just running around just not giving a damn but that first day I was not I was I, I, I didn't know what what's going on we've been there in Naha we had a coffee one of those instant coffees that that was the only thing that I've been drinking for the next two months. And um, the next step on our journey was to get to the city and see Honiara, see the port and get some more information about the ship that we we're about to take to Ontong Java. It, it was very uh, eye opening how life can be so different that, and this experience of seeing those people at first and being scared of this entirely new reality and slowly growing accustomed to it slowly starting to notice the acts of kindness everywhere around me it really changed the way i see the world right now That kind of footage, those kinds of views, even if it's the poorest neighborhood, that will get me into thinking about the environment, about climate, and that's and that's the reason why I care so much. And I hope you can appreciate it as much as I did, even if just via drone shots, because I have a lot of those. <laughs> Take care, my friends.